I'm Miriam and welcome to beautiful rural France. What a beautiful day. And as you can see guys, some of my pots aren't here. It's because I'm going to start planting them outside. And I, I was waiting for this for ages. And it is so exciting for me. And yeah, so I have yellow courgettes to bring outside, lettuce. I have sweet potatoes. So here I have all my lettuce. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lettuce pots. And uh, easy. If it's any weeds, I'll be weeding it off a bit where I'm going to be planting my pots. And then uh, I'm going to make a hole, a deep hole with the trowel. And then uh, what I'll be doing afterward is I will take all the plant out with the compost and everything and I'll put it inside the hole. Oh, I'm so excited with my leaves. They're looking superb. I've showed you this uh, lettuce inside the polytono. So perfect time for them now. I'll bring it out. And if it's any leaf that are a little bit mushy, I'll bring them out, take them off. Yeah, free some pots so we can reuse them because we need some uh, here. Go around it and press down. Long time no see. Except for a second <laughs> ago when I gave you a cuddle. Hello everyone. Uh, we've, been, we've just been uh, making wheels. Yeah. Putting wheels together in the workshop. Are you winning? Yeah. Our pots are ready to be outside. <laughs> Look at the lettuce. Amazing. Good, we need to free up some plant pots desperately. Yeah. yeah. We need the pots for thinning and uh, other plants. Yeah. I know I'm neglecting the channel everybody. But uh, I'm also building a mosquito at the same time. And yep. unfortunately, I haven't quite figured out how to be in two places at once yet. Although I'm working on it. Yeah, you're doing well. It's just the other channel is doing amazing too. Yep. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe to this one. And then like, comment, and subscribe to, <laughs> to the other, other one. one well. <laughs> There'll be a link at the end of this channel to uh, our other channel. If you are of a, of a classic car persuasion. It's uh, very much the same kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. All handmade and all handmade and all handmade and handmade. Yeah. All handmade and uh, <laughs> word. All from scratch. Huh? All from scratch. From That's scratch. what I'm looking for. So yeah, today is a gardening day. It is for you. Yeah. I've been in the dark. I love it. It's, uh, I, yeah. I love that workshop, but it is dark in that. Yeah. <laughs> We have a, the day is amazing now. Yeah. The sunshine, sometimes warm. I feel, sometimes I feel like mechanical golem and it's so nice to come <laughs> right into the garden and just feel like, oh, warm. <laughs> right, I'm going to go check for eggs. Okay. All right. Mwah. Mwah. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Yay. <laughs> you will see him another time again. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have noisy chickens. 
<sighs> yeah? Oh, yeah, they've been loving the, the, the blue bucket. <laughs> it's funny enough, but our chickens, I've said it on my videos, you don't need to spend, uh, in, you know, spend uh, a lot of money in fancy coops or anything. You just a couple of buckets with a nice straw and they love it. You might have Superb. noticed that the fence has grown though, the chicken fence. <laughs> yes. Because we've been planting out and doing gardening stuff in between videos. They, uh, they've been a bit determined Oops, to join careful. us. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. go back. What's going on? I see a grub. A grub? I Where? See a grub. I thought I saw a grub. Grub? Yeah. No, no grub. No, maybe it looked like it. Oh, yep. hello, baby. Mm -hmm. You're going in. Yeah. I was, one of the things that I don't think we've covered yet on the channel is the quality of our soil and how long it's taken us to get the soil this good. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's taken a long time and a lot of work because this was basically unused land for a lot of time. It was overgrown and it was basically wasted, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, yes. uh, and our soil is quite a very drainy soil yeah. as well. Here, here in Cruz, we have the highest groundwater in France. Yeah. But that also means that it drains incredibly Incredibly quickly, yeah. and so it's really hard to retain water and moisture in your soil, and um, that's difficult when it's 30, yeah, yeah. Thir yeah high 30s, yeah, <laughs> which is what in America, uh, 105 110 degrees Celsius uh, Fahrenheit. And then we have our own compost, it's just amazing the compost we yeah. have in there. We use a, a mixture of compost and wood ash, basically. Yeah. But, so uh, fertile. It, it's done as well. Yeah. These lettuces, once you start growing them, they become a bit like weeds. <laughs> yeah. Oh. When you let them, when you let them seed, you end up with little, <laughs> little tiny lettuces everywhere, and uh, they're all around the, all around the compost bin. They were, there's one growing in the chicken room. Mm. <laughs> there's loads in the pollen tunnel yeah. that are just like now a wild Infested yeah. with them. Awesome because we love them. <laughs> I'd say it's not. I it, love them. You can never have too much no, of a good thing when no. it comes to your garden. Because if anything happens, if you get any sort of bug or any sort of anything that's, that's bad, then you can kind of afford to lose half of it. Yeah. And that's, you, that's the better way to be. Yeah, because you know you have plenty of uh, stuff. Yeah. An abundance is An a abundance wonderful is thing. Mm. In fact, we've had some, our first year, we had some lettuces last over a year nearly. Um, some of the, some of the leafy greens, like the, the chard and the, yeah. the spinaches, lasted well over a year. Well, we still, uh, we have chicory from last year. Yeah. And it's surviving again. Yeah. Superb. Well, our salsa fine mammoth so got attacked good. by bank voles. Yeah. And completely destroyed. And then both salsified mammoths have grown back this year. And it's about to flower. It's yeah. huge. Again. Which yeah. is great. Yeah. And that's it's taken, superb. It's one of those things that's taken quite a few years to establish itself. Yeah. Because the first year it kind of was just cute. Yeah. The second year actually, like, it, it produced enough salsified mammoth to, to take some. Yeah. And then the third year it just got demolished by bank walls and then the fourth year, this year, it seems to be proper. Yeah, it's just when it establishes, it's yeah. uh, afterwards they grow it's like crazy. That, getting that root ball down deep. Yeah. The one yeah. thing that we haven't managed to grow yet is burdock. And we keep trying, but it's just, it's taken us, I don't know why it's been very difficult to establish here. Might be because Maybe. it's so warm. Yeah, yeah, it could be that. Because it's a, a woodland plant, is burdock. Yeah. But one of the things I wanted to do when we started this garden is try and grow as much like native European stuff as possible. Because if it's designed to grow here, then odds are that it won't In, be bothered yeah, by yeah, we'll grow like, anywhere. our native pests and things <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. And, uh, so far, it's done us proud, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very, proud. very I'm, proud. I'm going back to work. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. bye. Mwah.
now I'm going to water them, but straight on the ground instead of uh, on top, because I we don't want to burn their leaves and damage them. So I'll try to water. I'm going to try to water straight on the uh, ground. been a ton of caterpillars on the cherry tree oh. and so I've just been cleaning them all off. Caterpillars? Cherry tree caterpillars. Oh wow. <laughs> Squillions of them. Oh. And I've just been cleaning them all off by hand. The way you uh, plant your pots in the ground is very easy. It applies for the lettuce and any other plants you're bringing out on your land, on your garden. So you make a hole the size of the pot and uh, take all the soil out. Then you put the pot, your plant, in, in the hole and then you put the soil back and you press the soil proper in because you want it to be very, very pressed in and very tight in. And then try to go a bit higher, a total higher than usual on your plants when you cover it with the soil and you press it proper in, 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 in. And then afterwards you give them some water and that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, very easy. I'm excited because I can't wait to crop my lettuce outside. It's just amazing. So yeah, here I have all the pots with the yellow courgette plants. I'm so excited. And uh, we've just been mowing these strips. We put this black sheet on it, so it just keeps the grass down. And then in each of these uh, sheets, we have holes. So I'm going to be like digging the holes, taking all the soil out uh, from it, and then put one of these uh, pots full of it with all the compost in the hole. So I'm going to show you anyway. I need to make this hole Obviously, properly big, oh, that's better. Oh, much better. Yep. Move this in here. Out a bit. Mm. Oops. That's better. I have the hole already. Just I'm gonna take this last bit of the soil and then put it in. Yay. Oh, the roots are superb. Oh, yay. Oh, and now I'm going to get some of this soil and Put it back.
I've finished uh, planting my yellow courgettes. I have uh, seven plants and uh, they get massive, so they're going to cover all this area. The plants get m massive, massive, and every flower is uh, a vegetable. So the other strips we grow in this area, we grow pumpkins, squash, courgettes and marrows. So all this area is going to be Jurassic. So it's amazing. It gets massive, this plant. And then in here I brought my sweet potatoes. Obviously they're going to be planted in here. I'm going to plant them in this strip. Uh, put them in here for now. So I have here as well, I'm going to bring the the dill as well. Dill. Oh, I'm so excited for that one as well. <laughs> I'm excited with the, all my plants, really. It's just so good. I was waiting for this day. And yes, yeah, so in here I have all these varieties from the same uh, sweet, sweet uh, potatoes. And then I have here some of them. These are a different one, different varieties. They are sweet but white. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, do a little bit of weeding. Uh, we've been uh, weeding for days, like a little bit here and a little bit there, but just a little bit on the top because I have some uh, bits of weeding in there. And uh, then after that, I'll start planting them. So it's easy to put our plants and I want to put my plants on a nice clean compost. And this compost is really, really nice. In this trip, we've always planted traditional potatoes and because of uh, Colorado beetles, uh, we decided that we don't anymore uh, grow traditional potatoes. So we grow from now sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes are related to bindweed and they don't like it for some reason. So I'm going to grow a lot of sweet potatoes and I love them. I'm going to put the dill. This dill gets massive, massive, massive. It is a herb, awesome. So I'm going to give him quite plenty of space in here. And uh, then what I do is I put the pots like this, this, put them all, and then I can like jiggle around a bit. I can't wait to see how nice and beautiful these sweet potatoes are going to be. They're going to be superb when I bring it out this pot. There we go. It will be fine. I'll put some water after and, and she will do awesome. And press it in proper. And then give it some all over here. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please thumbs up, share it with friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. 
and uh, th this will help massively to this channel and to grow this amazing community together. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day. Take care and see you soon.